dealing with climate change presents a great challenge to the world. But how do we know the climate is changing? What kind of data and measuring techniques are available to us? What are the benefits of climate observation at the national and international level? In 1990, the international community decided to set up the Global Climate Observing System, called GCOS. GCOS encompasses the entire climate system across all its domains, atmosphere, ocean and land. In Switzerland, the Swiss GCOS office at the Federal Office of Meteorology and Climatology, Meteo Swiss, is responsible for coordinating all climate-relevant measurements. These are conducted by federal offices, research institutes and universities. Generally speaking, the climate observing system, in a sense, serves as our eyes as we follow changes in our environment. The environment is not something external to us. It is the basis of life, of our own existence. Measurements of the atmosphere near the surface, such as temperature and precipitation, have been collected in Switzerland since the mid-19th century. For example, on the Centis and the Great San Bernard. For more than 50 years, radio sondes providing information on the composition of our atmosphere have been launched from Payen. The Jungfrau Joch is Europe's highest research station. Here, atmospheric composition and changes to it have been analyzed using long-term measurement series. Solche Long-term measurements taken at representative locations form the basis for reaching agreement on and implementing international programs, such as the Montreal Protocol for the Protection of the Ozone Layer. Not just in the atmosphere can systematic observation provide important information on climatic change, in the cryosphere, snow, glaciers and permafrost are key climate variables. A thaw of frozen bedrock in high mountain ranges or a change in snow cover have a far-reaching impact on the utilization of alpine areas. The hydrological cycle also responds to changes in climatic conditions. This affects agriculture, energy production and the supply of drinking water. Discharge measurements have been collected for more than a century in some parts of Switzerland. Switzerland has, in European terms, a unique set of data records on the ice cover of lakes, such as in St. Moritz, since 1832. In the biosphere, climate change has an impact on the distribution of trees and plant life. The length of the vegetation period is also affected. Long-term observations provide information on the vitality of forests. The long-term measurement data we have collected now permits us to conclude that soil dehydration in the canton of Valais, which has a pronounced influence on the forests, is attributable to climate change. The lack of precipitation increases the risk of forest fires. Statistics on forest fires in Switzerland from over 100 years are an indispensable decision-making tool for the authorities and the economy. International data centers collect GCOS data and place them freely at the disposal of all interested parties. For example, the World Glacier Monitoring Service in Switzerland is one of them. It maintains detailed records of glacier measurements from around the world. However, the continuation of climate observations is at risk, mainly in developing and emerging countries. The goal of the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation is primarily to support the poorest countries in their fight against poverty. As a result, it is entirely logical that we include the climatological dimension in our activities. 
The Swiss GCOS office, together with the Swiss Agency for Development and Cooperation, makes an important contribution to improving global climate observation. Clearly, um, the Swiss-based uh, global climate observing system has been the exemplary in terms of how such observations should be made with the fidelity, maintain their continuity, and make it more sophisticated as a function of time so that we can provide the necessary information to the decision makers. Switzerland is an important partner in the global network of climate observation. It strives to continuously improve climate observation and to preserve it for future generations. Systematic climate observation is the key to understanding the climate in Switzerland and worldwide.